Hi guys, Dave here with a new funk guitar tutorial for you. Today we're going to look at the track You Got The Love by Rufus and Chaka Khan. Uh, the guitarist I do believe was Ray Parker Jr. So um, this is a new one for me actually, someone suggested it and uh, really glad they did because it's a terrific part. Okay, let's get on with the lesson. So I'm going to give you the first four bars which kind of sets up the main riff. But there are going to be some uh, variations on the way, so uh, we'll watch out for those. Right, it kind of starts on a pickup, so it's kind of coming off of beat three, and you kind of get this um, like that. Um, worth mentioning, a lot of these single note lines, even though they're single notes, it's kind of more of a kind of a strummed af affair with the right hand, and the left hand's doing all the muting off. So you get ten. On a downstroke, there's a little scratch, and then you get 10, 12 on the G. Oh, I should have mentioned that it was all on the G string, by the way. So 10, 10, 12, and then we're going to hit 11 on the B on an upstroke, and then give it a little um, kind of little bend up. I'll do that again. So it's like one, two, three, like that. And then we're into the main riff, which is this. Right, so for that, couple of scratches. So, um, a couple of scratches, yeah. The chord is a G7 with a sharp nine. The Hendrix chord, as it's commonly known. Great for funk. So the actual shape is this. 11B, 10 on the G, 9 on the D, and... 10 on the A string. There you go. So you kind of relax the chord, a couple of scratches, then hit the chord on a down. And then you're just going to play the, the B string and then bend it up a whole step. So you get like that. Then you get three scratches in a row, down, up, down. And then you're just going to hit 10 on the G, and that's going to be up, down, little up scratch, down scratch, and then hit 12 on an up, down scratch, and then the 11 on the B again, with a little kind of quarter tone bend. So you kind of get a... Uh, like that. So that happens three times on the intro and then on the fourth bar there's a little variation on that you get a down scratch and then you get an up down on the chord then an up down on the 11 on the B and give that last one a whole step push up so it's uh, like that three scratches again so it's down up down 10, 10 on the G, up, down, then a couple of scratches, up, down, then 12 again on the up, scratch, and then that little quarter tone bend again. So it's really just the first part that's different, that. Everything else is the same. So that's the first four bars of the intro. Right, now I'm going to take you through the next eight bars of the intro, which is when the band start kicking in a bit. So we've got the main riff again. Uh, and then in 
bar two of this section, it's going to change to a C7. So it only really hits part of the chord, but I'll show you the full shape because when I've seen him do this on video, he, he tends to hold a full bar shape. So what's happening there is it's a C7, so it's barring right across on the 8th fret. Uh, little finger's going to play 11 on the B. We're holding down 9 on the G and 10 on the A string. Couple of scratches, down, up, and then you hit the chord twice on the down. Then he moves down, and we're going to do a little move between two triads. The first one's going to be a C. Uh, and that's just barring on the 5th fret on strings 2, 3 and 4. And you're going to mute it first of all and go down, up, down. Then push on the chord and go up, down, up. So you get this. Then muted scratch afterwards on a down. And then we're going to bar across the 3rd fret on strings 2, 3 and 4. Hit that on an up little scratch and then we're going to play basically the top half of that G7 sharp 9 chord so that's 11 B and 10 on the G so it kind of goes like so then we're back to our normal riff again But the last beat is just very slightly different. Scratch, 10, as before. Scratch, and then 12. So uh, the last two beats are like that. I hope that clears up, so. So very slightly different at the end. And then the fourth bar is just like the normal riff again. Okay, it goes around that cycle again, so G7, then the C7, back to the G7 again, but on the kind of the eighth bar of this, if, of that series, if you like, it's a very slightly different pattern for the G7. So you kind of get a couple of scratches, two downs on, on the G7 chord, a couple of more scratches, and then we're going to go like this. So it's a little scratch on a down, you hear a little bit of the 15th fret on the E played, and then it does a unison bend on a down. So it's 15 on the E, and then 18 on the B, and the B string is bent up a whole step, like that. Then three scratches, and then 10, which in fact, I should imagine the 10 is actually part of the G7 chord, but he's only hit the single note. So that bar something like that. Right, the verse is a little bit more straightforward. We've got our regular riff again. Then changing to the C7 like we had before. It's slightly different on the end though. So we, we do the as before. Three scratches like before. But now we're going to do up, down, up. On the, on the bar 5th fret C 
So we're playing more into the C. Then hit the B flat triad on the up, scratch, and then that little double stop, which is basically the top of the G7 sharp nine chord again. So. So a very slight variation on the C7 that we did before. And then we go back to our G7 and it's just the, again, it's just the end part that's slightly different. So that's the same as before. And then a little bit more on the single note plane. So scratch on the down and then you got 10, 10 on the G, then 12 D. Then 10, 12, G, scratch, and then 10. Like that. Like so. And then on the fourth bar, the only thing that changes is you're doing that uh, 11th fret on the B bend just a uh, like a, a blues bend quarter tone so like so so I'll just go over that last bit so that's uh, 10 10 12 10 12 on the on the G and then that little um, blues bend on the 11 B and that and then for the verse it basically goes around those four bars twice So the course, pretty much the same idea. Uh, we've got our main riff again. Again, it's once you get to the C chord that it does something very slightly different to what it did before. So this, this is where the main variations are. So the C7 again, like we've had before. Three scratches like we had before, and then we've got two on the C bar, and then onto the B flat. So you kind of get a scratch up, down, and then up on the B flat. Then you get three scratches, and then up to that little double stop, 11 B10 on the G. So so that's the different difference that you hear in the chorus and then we're back to our riff oh yeah this bit's a little bit different as well so it starts the same way like we've had before and then a couple of scratches and we're going to do that little B flat on the third fret like we did before so uh, a couple of scratches hit it on the down scratch on the up then we're gonna do one more scratch on the down, and then we're gonna hit the C bar at the fifth fret on an up, scratch, and then the little double stop that we've had before. So that bar, I'll play that a little bit better than I did last time. Now, as far as how you do the B flat and the C, you could either go between like one finger and another, like one and three or one and four. Or if you want to just travel up with the single bar you, with one finger, you could do that. Might make it easier when you're jumping up to the top of the chord again. So uh, what we got? Uh, like so. 
Okay, and then on bar four of this section, back to the G7 again. Just a very slight variation at the end, so um, two scratches on the down. And then we've got the little um, the little blues bend thing again. So it's 11 on the on the B, little, little quarter tone bend. And 10 on the G. Uh, then you get three scratches, down, up, down. And then the 10, up down on the G, another scratch on the up, and then 10, 10 on the G again, and then 12 on the D, little scratch on the end, so. Like so. And that gives you the end of the course. Okay, now the bridge part, um, on the record it sounds like he's switched from the bridge pickup to the outer phase, like bridge and middle pickup, and it's just it's just basic chords really, so we've just got a G chord, um, play the full bar but really only hits like the first three or four strings. So um, yeah, regular bar shape, so that's third fret across all six, and then you're holding down four on the on the G and then 5D, 5A. But you're only really hitting, like I say, the treble side. Um, the f it's kind of all down strums. Now the very first one, sometimes he mutes it, where it's just a scratch, and sometimes it's just a very short chord. So you know, make a judgment call on that. And it's all downs, it's just like that. So kind of mute, staccato chord on the one end, beat two for a whole beat, and then on the three, it's kind of a very short chord, and then on the three end, make it a long one, hanging over to uh, beat four. And that's the pattern for the next eight bars. So he does two bars of G. Then he moves to a B minor, so that's Barn across the second fret from strings one to five, and then I'm holding down three on the B, four G, four D. Same rhythm. Then we're going into a, a C bar chord. So I'm barring on the fifth fret on strings two to four, and then three on the A. And then we do a C-sharp diminished 7 chord for the next two bars. So that is 5 on the B, 3 G, 5 D and 4 on the A. And that takes you to the end of the bridge.
Okay, there's a second clean guitar part that comes in on the chorus, and it's just a single note line that he does, and it's kind of based around like a G pentatonic, if you like. And it really just playing on one or two notes. So the first one's going to be third fret on the D, and it's just going to go down, up, down, up, and then you're going to get three, five at the end on a down, up. And you can put all the scratches in, in between if you like to kind of help get the feel down. Like that. That happens for the first three bars and then on the fourth bar So for that, that's three on the D again, and then you're going to hit it on an up, you get a little scratch before it, and then we're just going to go three, five, both on downs, and then three on the G, little uh, quarter tone bend, and then back to five on the D twice as a down up. So you get like so. So yeah. Like so. And then it just repeats that whole section again and that gives you the chorus. Okay, the second guitar part also does uh, some little sparse things on the bridge, along with guitar one. So first of all, it just hits a, a nice big open G, I think it's a G5 chord, like so. So for that chord, I'm just holding 3 on the E, 3B, open G, open D, and I'm holding down 3 on the 6 string E, and the back of that finger is muting off the A string. So you get this nice wide sounding G5 chord. Holds that for a whole bar. And then from beat three on the next on the next bar, he does a little sliding double stop. So I'm just holding down seven on the E and B strings. Play it. And then slide up to ten and then play ten twice. So you kind of get pick, slide, pick, pick, like that. Now you can either do it with two fingers, or um, some guitarists like to do it with just a sliding bar. So whatever makes more sense to you. Okay, uh, so it holds that for the next bar, well half a bar, and then there's a rest. And then in the following bar, he, this happens on beat four. So you, you're now at fret 10. Either way, so on the E and B strings, play it three times basically, and then just slide up to 12, and then just hold it for the rest of the bar. Then, right at the end of the next bar on beat four, you're just going to play that 12 on the E and B strings again, nice and short on beat four. Then we're going to play a little diminished triad here. So that is, uh, you can think of it either way. It kind of basically matches the, the C sharp diminished 7 chord that's being played on the other guitar part. But we're playing it up here. So that's 12 on the E, 11B, 12 
on the G. Just play it, let it hold for four beats. And then in the next bar, you just play the same shape on the one end. So it's like one and two, three, four, like that. And then that's it, that's the other guitar part. Okay, there's a slightly heavier guitar part in parts of this song. Now, it's just really done on the low E string. Really quite simple, it's just following the chord. So it does kind of pushes in on the, it's on the last semiquaver of beat four. And this, this kind of pushes into like, it's still the intro, but it's, it's um, when the band kick in. So it's like one, two, three, four, like that. So I'm just playing one and three on the E string. And then you do the same thing on the A string, one and three. Then we go back to the E string. And then you get a little double. So one, one, three. Like so. Then it goes through that again. Three, four, two, three, four. And then you get this on the on the eighth bar. So I'm just going five and three on the D string. And then it plays that whole sequence again. Basically, so you get an eight bars sequence, and then for the verse it does the same thing. But the, the it, but for twice as long. It's exactly the same. Um, whole riff, really sparse, but kind of funky with everything else going on. The only other part that's in this tune is, again, it's the low kind of um, heavy guitar part, and it happens just after the, the bridge. And it's... Uh, this time it sounds very similar to what we had in the verse riff, but it's just coming in on, off of a different beat. It's coming off of beat one instead, instead of beat four. So it's like one, like that. And then that, that's coming off of beat four. So that's on the four E and uh. One. So it's a one, three, four. Like so. And that's just one, three, three. And that's the other part. Okay, guys, that's the end of the lesson. Um, I hope you got a lot from it, and I will see you for one real soon.